What's going on everybody? Thank you for joining Shooting Gallery in New England today. We got a special video. We're going to go over an EDC bag from craftholsters.com. Let's get down to the tabletop and we're going to go through a super sweet bag. And we are back at the tabletop everybody. We haven't had a tabletop review in a while. But we are going over the everyday carry bag from Craft Holsters. Uh, the maker is again through Vega Holsters. I've done a few videos with Craft Holsters, so big shout out to my boy Al for sending this in for test and evaluation. Uh, but I reached, he reached out to me, I changed my email, so he thought like I just, you know, didn't want to work with him anymore, but no, I just changed my email. So thanks again, brother, for uh, helping the channel out. It's greatly appreciated. So, what this bag is. So it's a single kind of like satchel type bag, has some Velcro attachments where you can see in clear as day, the BOP logo, BOP for life. Uh, the outside of it has the zipper. I'll have to give them to this. The zippers on this bag are very well constructed. They're not gonna rip. Uh, you get your you got your front mo your front molly attachment. So if you want to put anything else on there, like you know a medical thing, or if you want to put more Velcro on there, you got side molly attachments on both sides. You have three main compartments. So we're gonna go over this a little bit. This is my work bag, so you're gonna see some stuff in here that I use for work. Now. The front pocket, I haven't really got anything in, but I would use that for like kind of ID or wallet or something like that. This front pocket, you do have the ability to have mag holsters. Again, more concealment in here. You can fit a lot more stuff in here. I don't have this bag completely outfitted yet. So it's kind of, it's, it's a work in progress. I do have some quandaries about it. Not like massively big quandaries about it, but it's more of just like what I would prefer. Uh, you do have some more Molly attachments on top of the strap. Now the front pocket where you put a lot of main stuff in, you got Velcro, more pocket space in here. Then in this one, I throw my Howard lights, some mechanic gloves. I am a gunsmith, so, and I'm working in uh, Massachusetts. So these mean arms, MA loaders is for a 5.56. I keep that because I do work with a lot of fixed mag stuff in there. So if I'm on the range or I'm at work, very deep pockets. Now, then you also have another small back, small Velcro pocket back here. If you want to put like a tablet or something like that, you have the ability to put it down right in there. Or if you have like a notebook or something that could also work for you. Now, the main thing I really drew me to this was it is a concealed carry backpack. Now, before I get into that, the strap is adjustable and it has kind of like a regular utility clip here where you snap that in. You have the ability to kind of keep it kind of like a, not a fanny pack, but if you wanted to strap it around your waist on top of that, you have the concealability. You get the Vega holster eloquently done, not too like flashy, like this is where we're from. This is who we make it. You do have a uh, back compartment right here that, again, I'm a gunsmith, so I carry microfiber cloths, a couple other things in that pocket. Maybe if you want to put like snacks or some bottled water in there that, you know, has the ability to do that. Now let's go over one of the coolest features. Get that snapped in. Now, I'm working, if I bump the camera, I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm working around the camera and the new light setup. My ring light died on me today, so I had to go purchase another one. Now, this is the creme de la creme. Now, you have the ability to post more Velcro here. So if you wanted to, say, get a Velcro attachment for, again, medical or more magazines or like a tourniquet or something like that, you have the ability to here. Then your pocket here. Now, I have safety checked all these guns, but this is my Glock 19 everyday carry. It's clear. Now, all you have to do is a simple adjustment. Flip this up. Unvelcro it again, or oh, revelcro it again, and you're able to conceal a Glock 19. You're not gonna know that. But just for comparison, I have as my headset falls. Those are snap caps, guys. I have my Smith and Wesson 65-3 357 revolver. Ooh, look at that, nice Packmeyer grips. I do have the firing pin on the handle. I have a full review, link in the description. Check it out, this is like a beautiful revolver. Um, stainless steel, doesn't have the Hillary hole. Now, for comparison, let's see how this works. 
you can fit a full size, uh, not at once a full size, but um, eh, how are we gonna, how would we classify this? I think they classified this as a K frame. Now, the barrel length will be determined on what you're gonna be concealing. So, you can pull it off. Now, I'm not fully zippering it up, guys, but you know, you can pull off. This is, a, I believe, a three and a half inch barrel 357 Magnum. And again, once you fold it up, you can pull it off. Now, just for one more comparison. Okay. We're gonna check out my full size SR 1911 and 45 ACP. It's clear. Bump the camera again, so sorry about that. This is one bad mamma jamma, everybody. Ooh, I love this gun. Now, let's see how this fits. Again, this is a full size five inch barrel polymer, uh, polymer frame, a metal frame. I think it's a uh, stainless steel SR 1911, and that fits in there like a glove. This is going to be a little bit heavier, obviously, the more weight you put in here. But if you want to throw some more mags, again, medical, and it's easy to unholster it if that's what we're doing, comes right out, okay. Man, I, I love this gun. I actually do have a couple holsters from Craft Holsters, and in the waistband and out the waistband. I'll leave the links kind of up in the corner of a card and in the description of this video, so please check those out. Let's get back up top, finish this out. I'll give you my final thoughts, and one of the only issues I have with this bag is. So let's get back up top and finish this video out, everybody. And we're back up top, everybody. So here's my final thoughts on the everyday carry bag from Craft Holsters. Now, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. It's gonna be your first link. If you wanna pick one of these bags up, uh, check one out. If you like what you see here, please give them a, some love. Let them know Shooting Gallery NE sent you, just so they know at least it's worth them sending me this bag. Now, here are my two issues with this bag. I am a six foot three-ish, 350-ish pounds, give or take. This is a small, this bag, the size of it, let's see if we can adjust the camera a little bit, just so you can kind of see where it sits on me. Plus, let me pull my pants up so you guys don't have to see my rear end. Now, look at this. if you guys can tell the, the size difference for this bag, this is tiny. It looks kind of like a, you know, your kid's first starter bag. If it was a little bit bigger, well, let's readjust the camera so you can see me. Look at that. Look at this adorable mug. You can't, um, no one can say no to this. Now, this bag, it does its purpose, especially I can see this being a great bag for someone that does like a lot of hiking or if you're fishing and you're in like a wooded area where at least you want to have a sidearm on you, throw some tackle in there, those like clear plastic uh, tackle boxes you can throw in there, some medical snacks, food, something small, kind of an everyday bag. Uh, or if you live in the city and you ride a bike, I do like the strap. Took me a little bit to uh, figure out like the length wise, but working with the, uh, you know, the buckles and stuff like that, I got it to the, kind of fit my size. It doesn't ride on my neck, doesn't cause a rash. I do like that. I'm not a big backpack person, but going to and from the shop carrying like, you know, my headset, some extra tools, you know, just a bunch of stuff. It's, you know, I kind of need a bag. So, you know, again, thanks, big thanks to Craft Holsters for sending me this bag. This is probably not gonna become my everyday carry bag, but it's going to become at least a fishing bag. So I can clearly, I don't have a gun in it right now, but if something were to ever happen, I can just, and then with training and boom, there you go. Easy access to the bag. Now, guys, again, thank you all so much for watching. Those are just my two kind of small issues, if anything. Great quality construction, material's not ripping, it's not made of like cheap fabric, like it's made to last. So please check them out over craftholsters.com. The link is gonna be right first in the beginning of the description. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Make sure you are making sure you hit the subscribe button and bell notifications, all that stuff. Follow us on Instagram, Patreon, and uh, TikTok. Patreon guys always get early access. Right now, it's kind of I'm gonna work on the tier system. But if you feel like uh, we give you a great amount of content, you want to help support the channel, please check out Patreon.com/shootinggallery. Any and again, big thanks 
two craft holsters. I thank you guys so much for helping me with some products and stuff like that. You guys are awesome. You make a great bag. So have a good one, everybody. Stay safe. Stay shooting. Peace.